Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Saturday afternoon stream. We are continually cracking at the uh, GBA list, um, focusing on Activision Anthology still. We're about 18 and a half hours in. Still got a ways to go, but I mean, we're we're doing stuff. I mean, we had to do this at some point. The sooner we get this done, the better. So that's really all we can say. Uh, let's see who we got in the chat. We got Casanova sixty four, Gaming Doc eight, Malcolm Kostenko. Looks like that is it for right now. Hope everyone is having a good weekend so far. Um, not much I really have to announce or introduce as of right now. Uh, looks like Blaylock just came in as well. Hello. Um, but yeah, I'm still working through this. This will be my weekend um, target for GBAs whenever I have a weekend stream. Um, during the weekdays, I have been moving on to some other games. I um, actually managed to get three games done this week that weren't this game. So, you know, progress is most certainly uh, being made. Yo, Mars Rover as well. And Swordsmaster Guy, wow. And Mario Simpson 1. Okay, now a lot of people are here. <laughs> yeah, you are here, finally, live, and with Activision of all things, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to show up for Activision. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fact of life, though, I guess. Sometimes you just have to deal with Activision. Been watching the VODs for this, just my warped sleeping cycle. Eh, understandable. That's just the way it is sometimes, you know? Sometimes there's a lot of people I want to watch stream, but, like, I'm either streaming already or I'm like, I need to rest. It's just, yeah. It can be hard keeping up with everything you want to keep up with. We only have 24 hours of the day, after all. Your reaction from the Star Wars ending yesterday was priceless. Yeah, that was that was easily like I think the funniest part of GBA so far. <laughs> that was hilarious. I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, not much is really going to be changing to my schedule for a while. I'm focusing pretty hard on this. Um, I do have a vacation planned for the end of October, first week of November. So there will be a little bit of time off, and uh, before I start my vacation, I'll probably jump into a little bit of Mario Party uh, Jamboree, since that'll technically be out around then. And um, also, um, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is also um, going to be coming out. I'm going to probably cover that game on here um, after I get back from my vacation, and then after I finish that game, I'll get right back in the GBAs. I also need to plan that um, Shuffler event that I wanted to do uh, with the uh, Mario series. So I'll probably try to start considering a time for that as well. So, you know, still trying to figure out everything, but, you know, I'll, I'll get it all situated when I'm ready for it. Wait, there are two versions of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on GBA, with one being called Tournament Edition. This is because they couldn't put the full console roster on one GBA cartridge. I'll have to look into that. I'll look into that when I actually, you know, get the game in a draw. Because they never, like, really addressed that as two games. So, I have no idea. Yeah, Star Wars was pretty bad. Um, there, there were some instances where it really could have worked, but I swear the platforming was not one of them. <laughs> that was really, really badly done. Seriously. 
Uh, that Mario All Day thing is supposed to be a before the end of the year. That's the plan. I mean, I, I always tell people that even though that's the plan, that's never necessarily going to be a guarantee with me. Uh, just because I just have so much going on and so much I want to do. And I'm, I'm never going to jump into something if I'm not ready for it. So, that's just the way it is. But uh, let's get back into this, because we've just been kind of sitting here talking, which I don't mind. It's always good to talk for a little bit, but, you know, we could also be gaming too, so that's what I want to do. Everything that didn't involve simple combat was hot trash. And then even the combat, like, it, was, it wasn't it was bad, but it wasn't great either. It was just kind of like, okay, I'll just run up to these guys, slash them. I'll reflect beams from the stronger droids, and that's a... Okay. Let's uh, start the timer and get this going. So, where were we? We, uh, we finished Kaboom, or at least all I'm going to do with Kaboom. Uh, next up, we have Keystone Capers, which does have a patch. In fact, the next couple of games have patches, it looks like. Laser Blast actually has two patches, so I'm curious about the... What is Keystone Capers? Oh, this looks interesting. Looks kind of like a house game. <laughs> we, we play in house? Okay, to unlock the patch. 35,000 points. I don't even know what we're doing yet, so... Let, let's just jump into it and find out. Yo, we got a suitcase. What is that? So is this like Pitfall without the, like... Oh no, there's criminals. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's a time limit that's on... Kevin still needs to pack his suitcase. Okay, what do I have to do about the criminal? Like, can I just jump over him? Or maybe I have to catch the criminal. I don't know, maybe. Gotcha. Okay, that's what it is. Um, okay. So this is literally just catch the criminal. I guess. <laughs> While also avoiding the obstacles, I guess. I'm not sure, like, what's dangerous and what's, like... So is that, like, an elevator?
Okay, he just walked through that. I, I, I kind of disagree with that. Yeah, the timer is very slow, which is good, because the slower a timer is, the more points you'll get. Theoretically. Oh no, a shopping cart! <laughs> I should get points for jumping over the shopping carts like Mario does for jumping over the barrels in Donkey Kong. It's Black Friday, yeah. Totally. Yeah, I don't know about that elevator thing. Oh no, there's an airplane. Okay, you can duck. You probably have to duck under the airplane. Yeah, you do. Okay, good enough. Sucks I lost a life because of that, but Okay, so they they only appear on the these they appear on the same screens. So you'll never just like get surprised by one. Well, you know, Mars, Black Friday is a very dangerous, dangerous day. I wonder if I get, like, bonus points for, like, lives or, like, bonus lives or something. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I have to start the whole level over again. Oh my god. I hope I get freebie lives every 10,000 points or something. Because honestly, this is not hard. I just have to remember to like, you know, move at certain points. So, like, every time there's a plan, I have to remember to duck twice. And see, there could be, like, they could get faster over time. There's a lot of things to keep in mind for this game. It seems like it'll be pretty easy, though. As long as, like, I know what to do for each of the obstacles. Yo, 6900, nice. Oh, that decreases your time. Okay, so you don't lose you don't lose time for that at least. But, it, you know, losing time means you get less points. Oh, and, okay, the ball. Okay, the big, the big bounce I have to walk under, it looks like. Or not. Okay, you still have to jump over it. It's just tighter. I may not do this, then. Damn.
I may have to restart this game, but I lost a lot of points on the first stage anyway because I wasn't sure what to do. I'm starting to think that, like, everything takes away... I press down. I disagree with that. That is really hard to jump over. Okay. Yeah, let's just start fresh. We'll start fresh. I'm also curious about that elevator. Maybe I can look in, like, the manual for, like, what the elevator does. You get a hundred points per seconds that are left on the clock, so. Something that some people could do if they won is they could look up what the uh, elevators do. <laughs> Give me that information, I don't know. Could see if that'd be worth doing. I mean, especially in an instance if it's like too hard to dodge some of the projectiles. Casanova, thank you for the gift sub to Mars Rover. Really appreciate it. What a nice and lovely thing for you to do. shopping carts. Okay, suitcases only give you 50 points. Where the airplanes start again. Yes. Okay, remember, I have to duck twice for airplanes. It's annoying, but it needs to be done. Yeah, Kaboom Man's twin. I didn't see how much the bag of treasure was worth. Because there is a bag of treasure on the top row. And it's making me wonder, oh, maybe that's, like, worth it or something. I don't know. We saw what the patch requirements are. We don't. We don't need to know them all. 
and you can look for them yourself if you're that curious. It's 35,000 for this game. I know that much. Okay, I didn't get an extra life for that. Okay, you can jump over to them, it's just very tight. You almost need to, like, stutter your jump a little bit. Okay, it's still only 50 points. Made me think that they're there worth more, but no. God, I hate that I have to duck twice for those guys. <laughs> Get over here! Okay, what's the big challenge for this one? Haven't seen any new objectives yet. on this cycle. Oh, you're playing Coconut Mall. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of appropriate. I can see it. I'm not getting, like, a lot of exponential points, though. Which is the... Oh, God! The shopping carts are faster! <laughs> oh, oh, okay, you only lose time. Yeah, they be zooming... I didn't lose a life at least, but I don't like losing time either. No! I ducked. I disagree with that. And I disagree with that, too. God, because you don't get, like, a lot of bonus points, it's like... <sighs> Damn it. You know what? 
and trying something. Okay, I should be back. I don't know what happened there. It's the first time it's disconnected in a long time, so... That's something. Unfortunately, I... I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Due to the confusion of what was going on. So I ended up losing two lives, so... That's kind of unfortunate. But, I did figure out something. Uh, before I test it out, though, uh, let me restart the timers. I want to very quickly look at the manual. So yeah, you can get in the elevator. Points are scored each time Crook is apprehended. The sooner you catch him, the more points you'll get. Crook's 1 through 8 are worth 100 times the amount of... Okay. So 9 through 16, you get double points. So at level 9, you get a lot more. Uh, yeah, yeah, especially after 16, you get 300. Every time your score increases by 10,000 points, a cop is added to your reserve. Oh, you can only have three at a time, so it's kind of like Kaboom. I'll show you guys how the elevators work. Now the thing is, he does start walking the other way when you get on the elevator, so... What? Can you not go down? I guess you can't go down the elevator. That's a little dumb. Understandable, I guess, because he... Yeah, it's a lot of waiting around. That's the only thing. What would be the what would the, be the advantage of that though? That's the question. So get off on floor two instead. I guess it depends. Hold on, let me check something. 
I mean, especially since it's right here. And see, that's like 3,000 points right there. I didn't see that, no. Given I didn't look like super... I didn't look super well, but... Get over here! Yeah, that's giving me a lot more points. I'm almost at a thousand already. Or ten thousand, I mean. I really hate those airplanes, though, because they can be really, like, it can be kind of deceptive to avoid them. Oh, no, you don't. The trampoline is mine! <laughs> Under the chopper. So yeah, honestly... It's kind of funny, getting... Going offline on stream actually kind of helped me. <laughs> Gave me a stopping point. It's like, you know, maybe I should look at some of the... Info for this game. Thank you, OBS, for crashing. Uh, no, I don't local record. But it, it saves all my VODs, so all I have to do is just, like, if I want to make them all one, I just download the VOD and put it together. It's annoying, but it's not too bad. I can't really afford to local record because I have not too much space as it is. Okay, well I can't do it now. Which is a little... That's a little... That's very unfortunate. Although, here's the thing. I am close to 20,000, so if I do take a death, I can get another extra life pretty easily.
Locally recording was pretty necessary when my OBS was crashing like all the time. Like, it was kind of around this time last year actually. Because I remember it was when I was doing Pikmin 3 and then... Or Pikmin 4 and then Mario Wonder. <clears throat> oh shoot, where am I going? That could be bad. That could be also annoying. That could be very annoying. Uh, I, I wouldn't be against doing a rando of Pikmin. I love Pikmin, so... Oh man, I have to duck three times for the airplanes now. That's pretty bad. Is it going down? Oh, it's going up. I wonder. It might be better to... I don't know. This is so risky. What? Oh, bullshit. I'm sorry, that was bullshit, though. I had the elevators in your dad's office was slow, yeah. Let's see, there we go, I got points back. Oh, what the hell? Different ball paths. Okay, I think I'm getting the 200 points now. Oh, come on! I- Oh my god. That's stupid. I tried to push up, but it wasn't letting me push up. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. It takes like two seconds to get... Let's try this again. Those bouncing balls suck.
I just thought of something. No! How do I go down? Oh my god, that's really annoying. Literally, there was nothing I could have done about that. This shouldn't be that hard, it's just... <laughs> yeah, Atari! Because we didn't do this on the first level, I'm pretty sure. So, like, right away, we do have a bit of a... Good strat going. <clears throat> I wonder for, like... Some of those levels, like the ones with those bad, badly bouncing balls, maybe I should just run into them just to get the elevator or the escalator on the fast cycle. Like, I'll lose a points, but, like, I'll at least gain time. Because getting, getting off on the second elevator is, like, the strat. It's like the very good strut. Because that cuts like a couple of uh, segues out. So if I can do like these first couple... And who knows, if I can do these first couple of segments perfectly... It may not even matter. Like if I... Like, I'm, I could have the point requirement before I even reach that level. Because I think there were a few instances where I did take a time penalty. So. Because <clears throat> I'm already at 10,000, and the planes are just now appearing. Um, after stage eight, um, it, 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 I mean, before stage eight, it's always a hundred points per second you have left for the robbers. But beyond stage eight, it's 200 points. And then beyond stage 16, it's 300 points. Ah, frick. I hate those balls. some points here, but 
Whatever. Oh, I missed the cycle too? Oh crap, that's not good. I hate those bouncing balls. The these, the ones that bounce super high. The other ones to have a, just a long bounce are even worse though, to be fair. Yeah, who's the brat that's letting all these toys run amok? <clears throat> Probably my cousin's kid, honestly. I could see him doing it. He starts throwing hooks at you, yeah. Do 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 Aside from this crook uh, being an asshole, um, I'm doing alright. Okay, I'm not quite at the uh, times two yet, but I'm getting there. That was the one I should have ran through, honestly. See, I don't know what to do at this point, because it's like, do I wait at this and try to see if I can catch him on a cycle? Because he goes the other way after a while, I've noticed. But he's almost at the elevator, so... Maybe I could catch him off guard here. Whatever. Okay, I saw him. Get over here! That was a bad l l layer of points, but...
Yeah, that's also really annoying, because you have to, like, back up and make that jump. <clears throat> Whatever. No! Come on! Bullshit! I hate these, like... Oh, my God. The ones where I have to jump over three is just ridiculous. Whatever we got it this time, I, I think. Come from How'd I miss the cycle that time? I should not be missing some of these cycles. I might be able to catch him on the rebound here. He's coming right at me. Where are these red balls coming from? I hate the red balls so much. The thing is, this will get me pretty close to the amount I need to win. I just have to beat one level and I should have it. So, I'm not going to give up.
I need to be ducking that many times, if I'm being honest. Okay, I think I got him. I don't think this is quite enough. It'll be close. May just be a need where I only need like a money bag or two to get it. Oh, nope, I got it. Whew! Billy Club patch. Okay, we got it. Um. Now you can walk under them. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end. Ooh, that was that was honestly pretty tough, all things considered. So we're done with the K's now. Laser blast, which I think we have two patches. Is this just space invaders? See, laser blast, cadet, lieutenant, captain, commander. The difference between games is how rapidly the speed and fire any of the enemy around. Yep. Difficulty of ground attack groups. We're overtaken. This looks like just space invaders. For each a thousand points you gain, you're given ring. Yep, that's good. This isn't an easy game, well. If you succeed in scoring 100,000 points or more, send us a picture. Okay, so 100,000. If we even need to get... I'm curious about the other badges, honestly. Oh, million. Federation, million. Okay. So I'm going to go for the 100,000, depending on how easy it is or not easy. Oh, okay, it's like reverse space invaders. Oh, that was... Okay, let's restart that. This is going to be tough. <laughs> How, they know, like... Look how they come 
on! Let me freaking shoot you! I don't know. I don't know what the aiming is. Like, I can kind of, like, angle it a little bit, but... Kind of getting a feel for it now. <sighs> it just sucks that sometimes they can like aim right at you. And like their laser stays on screen for a while too, which kind of sucks. You get a lot of chances for extra lives. I don't know if like that's a there's like a max you can have. That's the pattern I use, down stab, move right, down stab, right, down stab, move all the way to the left again. Okay. Like you miss, and it's like, oh, we get a freebie shot on you. Like, I hate that. Okay, and you get more. Everyone has Blaylock. It's not a problem with me. <laughs> Bots are just been really, really bad lately for everybody. Twitter has a lot of musky smelling things that need to be gotten rid of.
I don't know if, like, my points are still exponentially getting higher or not, though. I'm getting more lives than losing, which is good, but... just seems like it's more trouble than it's worth, probably. At least lives are fairly easy to get. I just hate that, like, there, there's times where the third one gets, like, a free shot on me. And I'm not really sure what determines that. Well, it's not the second one got a free shot on me. Sometimes the second one shoots but misses me barely. But freaking third one again. That time the second one got me. See? Like, what the hell? Atari is what determines it. I should have known it was Atari this whole time. That time I actually messed up, which kind of helped me. Uh, looks like there's a max number of lives, too. Which is kind of a crappy. subject of bots earlier. I'm just going to go to 100,000. <laughs> Assume I do make it there because this is so repetitive. Going for a million just does not sound like fun. <laughs> it is kind of, I like the idea though. It is a cool concept. It's just very repetitive. Like even if they just like added like one or two enemies per wave, that would make it at least a little more interesting. It'd make it kind of like that bug game that I played, Crackpots. 
Where it's like, you know, there's different, like, formations and they just get faster. Okay, we're a third of the way there. Just like this game, we're a third of the way done with that to Activision Anthology. <laughs> Probably a little further ahead than that now, but still. I mean, we're in the we're in the L's. Oh, also, L. We're taking an L on the. We're in the L's alphabetically, so I mean, keep that in mind. If you want a real stance of progress, I think there's like a lot of S games, though. So. Also, two pitfalls. I think this is max difficulty, really. It's fun to see how super fast the other modes are, but they're not that bad when you get used to it, yeah. Would the other, mo would the other modes have given me more points, potentially? I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm dedicated to keeping with this run. Regardless, but... Could have been worth something to think about or mention in the video. Man, I think, yeah, I think the Activision anthology video is going to be longer than the Chain of Memories video easily. Even though I don't have a lot to say about each of the games, it's still 55 games. I hate how that didn't give me a extra life, even though I got one. The life subtracted after I died. Which is kind of crappy. Got it back, though. I still find it funny that Dragster gets you a maximum, like, 10 seconds of gameplay per round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a really great victory, though. Biggest victory of the of this playthrough, honestly. We don't talk about Dolphin, though. <laughs> yeah, see, same thing again. Didn't get the life there. That's the thing, though. I mean, despite the games being simple, I mean, getting the patches... Not entirely simple in a lot of cases. Yay, I'm recording now, just in case it happens again. I mean, at this rate, I'll only have to paste together three VODs and not, like, a bunch more. Okay, um, I'll get back to this. I really hope this thing didn't knock me off my game at all. At least it's happening with Atari and not something more interesting. Fair. Very fair. I just don't want it to happen at all. 
Okay, let's get back to this. God, Blades of Thunder. The, mo the most interesting game. Apparently there's a Blades of Thunder 2 on DS. And Shasta almost had that voted. Or he didn't have it almost voted in, but... He, uh, it was a choice for one of his polls for the DS challenge. He dodged a bullet by not getting that game, I'll say that much. It does seem like there's random patterns of these ships. And at least they don't like do them back to back. That's one good thing. It's more so like sometimes that third one gets like super intelligent. Sometimes the second one gets aggro and then he like misses. Yeah, like that. It's funny though. It's kind of funny seeing these patterns, honestly. First one just sucks. The Viber, the Viber ship, yeah. When you don't want to be on the front line. Okay, I actually fooled it that time. Yo! The first one! <laughs> the first one actually getting some blood, drying some blood there. Second one got me there. should get a hundred points for these and not 90. See, I'm actually losing more now. First one tried to get me again, though. Yo, that angled shot, though. Okay, we're two-thirds of the way there. We're in D-plus territory right now. I 
I also wonder if, it, I mean, maybe my internet might be a little shaky, because I know, I think my dad's watching, like, some farm-made music thing on, like, the streaming services or YouTube streaming, so it could be, like, just connection bandwidth missing. I'm kind of breaking even with lives, so as long as I just stay somewhat consistent, I should be fine. I still have 30,000 points to go, though. I have. I just have to think about the fact that I'm only like 20,000. I've gotten 20,000 since the last internet disconnect. Yeah, breaking even with lives is definitely helpful. C minus territory right now. Yeah, I love crashing into a tank, which is pretty hilarious. Yeah, the, there's no more difficulty. Like, it's not getting harder. It's just getting longer. <laughs> or not longer, just again. It's the same thing over and over again. Okay, I think we're in C plus territory. I forget, is the... Damn it! I forget, is C plus 77 or 78 when that started? I think it's 77. I think it's the 3 to 6 percentages that are the non plus, non minus territory. Okay, there, okay, there's no way. 65 should not be a D. Or, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, that's a C? The grading rubrics change quite a bit since I was in school, I guess. Also, 80% done. For me, uh, 59 and lower was failing. And 60 through 69 was D, 70 through 79 was C, 80 through 89B, and then 90 through 100A. One of my claims to fame in college was actually I failed my calculus final, but I still got a B in the class overall. Because <laughs> I just... Calculus was freaking hard. I, I really hated calculus so much. 
And, I, and I'm a math guy. I love math, but calculus was just too much for me. I just, in general, hate the idea of calculus. It's never about finding the answer. It's about finding the closest to getting the answer without getting the answer. And it's just like, what's the freaking point? Like, wh why? Why, why, why? Why is that a thing? Like, it's so stupid. Now, at least the price is right is fun. Calculus is not fun. <laughs> I seriously, I, I seriously hated calculus. I like pre-calculus and, like, trigonometry, because, you know, those were kind of associated with each other, but... No, screw actual calculus. Okay, we got only 10,000 points left. We're almost done. We can move on to the next game soon. Yeah, but I'm not going for a million. Screw that. That's not fun. I I've proven that I can do it. I don't want to do this for like eight more hours. I'm considering any extra additional patches 100%. Honestly, even getting... Like, some would probably even consider the patches not even like... Not even getting one. Like, one... Like, I could probably just play the games... Do a round of each and then let that be my attempt. That, let that be the game. Patches are completely 100% territory. Which is why I'm going for some of them, but not all of them. I think it just makes more sense to do it that way. No, no, no. PS5 is too expensive. <laughs> Especially the pro. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Get ready for that lovely do 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 jingle. We'll be hearing it shortly. I can taste that one hundredth of a million. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I, I'm only, like, I'm a tenth away from it, technically. But, also... <laughs> I had no way to block that, by the way. Here, first guy get me. Oh, man. Yeah, it was 100k. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. 
Mega Mania? Better than Lega Mania. Uh, so just a patch. Oh, I can't wait until we play Oystron. I have no idea what Oystron is. Another space shooter? Mega Mania, a space nightmare. You think Mega Mania is just another space game? You're dreaming. And that dream will become a nightmare. A space nightmare. Very good. This seems like the same... This seems like it's actually Space Invaders. Oh, you can control the... Thousand points per reserve. Ah, there's hamburger. Space dice? <laughs> I can't wait till we see space dice. Example in the first wave, if you have 30 energy units left after destroying all the attacking hamburgers, you'll be awarded 600 points. So it's like there's health or something, I guess. Forty-five thousand. How to become a mega maniac? Tips, tips from Steve Cartwright. Cartwright. He said Cartwright. <laughs> You're not Cartwright. Of course, I'm not Cartwright. <laughs> a megalo freak, a maniac. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, I guess, take a look at this. Let me make sure it's, yeah, 45,000. These are hamburgers? Okay, that's the ener energy depletes after a while. I get it. Okay, these are I don't I don't remember what they said these were, but they remind me of the yellow Tinker Toys, like the Tinker Toys that are like yellow that are circular. Damn it. 
Okay, they, they, it does save whatever progress you were working on. It can be like kind of hard to aim at these. sometimes. And they're just so small, I can barely hit them. Man. A hard game. I know, I like, I'm moving the missiles while I'm shooting them. It's just hard. It, like, I get it. I get. I get that you can guide them. Guided doesn't mean lock on, it means you guide them. I can't wrap around the screen. That's kind of lame. Oh, I don't like that, though. What could I have done? Nothing, that's what.
Did I get any of the ones on the left? Is that the reason why I couldn't do anything? Maybe that's why that was like that. I couldn't quite get... No, not bow tie. Green cheese. I do have a lot of points now, I've noticed, though, so that's one thing. And now these are worth more. I think everything's worth the same now. Was it 45 or 35,000? Come on! Oh man, I'm getting slaughtered. thing though even though it's more interesting than the last game it's definitely harder than the last game close. I think if I make the if I make it through this I win. much longer so I can at least quit. Whatever. Space Dice Conquer. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, we're, we're out of the, There's only one game that started with M. Yet there's three that start with O. <laughs> How about that? At least we saw Donuts Revenge, yeah. Okay, wink. Wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not quite. I was like, are we ha actually halfway done? Not quite. 
Look who's oinking. Indeed. Is it? It's based on the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was a fairy tale about three little pigs and the big bad wolf. Well, now it's a video game. Or you could be the little pigs or choose the big bad wolf. You choose. Could that cover art is mood? Yeah. Okay, but the one player, you have to control the pig. Move the joystick to the left to move your pig to the left, to the right to move your pig right. Okay. The difficulty setting the default position your pigs must walk down to the wall to drop an object in place. Points are earned every time your pig drops an object in place the wall. Objects in the first row are worth four points. Okay, so... Whether your house is made of straw or sticks or bricks, the wolf will try to blow down and get the pig. He'll blow a little hole here and a little hole there. And if you don't keep up with the wolf, he'll turn little holes into big holes. Then he'll chase after your pig. If you can't beat him, join him. Twenty-five thousand. The Oinkers pet. How to oink your way into the Oinkers club? <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay, that's what I have to do. Okay, well now that I know what I'm doing.
I can't believe he licked me. This is honestly a cool idea for a game, but like, I'm kind of worried about the point threshold for this. What? Actually, let's do this. It does matter. A stray drop will only drop it, like, at that point, like, where you are. Otherwise, you're just kind of holding it. It does seem like I'm exponentially getting more points, but... I'm still like 15,000 short. That's the problem. Yeah. There's something I'm not understanding about this. A <laughs> laser breath, yeah.
Okay, it's not so much that the sticks and the straw and like the... It's not so much that the materials have different point values. It's more that the longer you last, like the more rows that you take down, the more is the, ne the next rows will be. That's what it is. Because, like, I'm already getting more points for these. I don't know. It could, could be a case of both, honestly. So, I, what I need to do is I need to, like, get the extreme holes covered. Like, so I'm not traveling so far to get. So, like, over here. Surprised he got me there. I am surprised he got me there.
damn it. I am... I am getting a lot more points the further I make it, though. That's the only thing. Because even though that didn't seem like it was that much better, it was definitely an 8,000 point improvement. It's just really, really hard. So, like, I, I was close... I'm closer to the goal on that attempt than I was to my last score, if that makes sense. This is one I might have to, like, look at, like, maybe a high score guide or something, just to see if there's, like, any optimization strats I'm not quite getting. Pretty much. Which is a shame because. I should get a point for like dropping a brick on the wolf's face. Which I hate saying because I actually love wolves. Wolves are some of my favorite animals. It's just when they're just trying to destroy my house, you know? That's... That's kind of when things get a little... Yeah, you know what? Maybe this isn't good. remember to like yeah go towards the front or the sides first because at the very end if there's still a big hole if I'm focused on the hole I can clear it all pretty fast like maybe that wasn't smart I did that then and maybe I should have got a few of these and then filled in the hole hard to say, really. That's the thing. He hasn't tongued me yet, which... Yeah, I realize what I just said. Oh man, that almost got me.
Ah! Okay. Crap. Yeah, when the big bland wolf's blowing your house down, you gotta take a stand. You gotta go out there, look him straight in the eye, and say, Don't eat me, or eat my house. I almost said something else, but then that would have had much, much different context. And I wouldn't have felt comfortable saying that. I might have it. I found a strat that kind of works. Here's the thing. I'm not doing the smart thing, but if I can get points, I might just make the... Yep, that's it. <laughs> Bones and belt. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I totally got this. So yeah, that was the strat. You had to like, not only just clear, but like, if you got to a point where there was a big hole, just work on like the little smaller holes, ignore the big section, and then wait till the thing fills up. Then if you like stay on top of the wolf, like directly on top of him, he can't get you because his attacks always diagonal. So that, that was kind of my strategy for that. It just became less of a speed game and more of like an efficiency positioning game. Which is pretty cool. And we're on the last one, so you might as well just finish this game out. Honestly, I kind of like this game. I think it's kind of a cool one. It's definitely anxiety creating, but... Yeah, 
I'd say it's up there. I'd rather play this than Star Wars and Blades of Thunder, so... Yeah, I wish I could show the wolf plane, but... I'm not really sure how I would do that. I got 10,000 more points than the score. It's just, again, like, the score modifiers, like the point modifiers, those are clutch when going for high scores, because they just get you so much. Can I get 40,000? I'd like to get 40,000, but I'm not going to push it. Oh, okay, I got it. Eat me! Yeah, pretty much. Like, I'll at the very least say that, like, you know, if you have to get all the, if you have to get all the patches, 5 out of 5 difficulty easily. Um, let's see. Now, I think the next two games don't have patches. We have Oki and Oystron. Then we have Pitfall itself, and then Pitfall 2, and then Black Attack. Yo, Slew Shark, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. I hope your Mario Golfing went well. I, guess I did see you were playing that earlier. I hear that Space Shuttle is going to be terrible. Oh dear, this is a lot of games. Yeah, it does. But hey, we're almost through three pages of the six, and the last page is short, so... You know, we're, we're doing stuff. Okay, what the hell is Oki? Aw, turtles! This game is no boxer. Oki is a fast-moving puzzle... Puzzle game? Ooh. 30 preset puzzles and 435 random puzzles? Oh, I think I know what these are. Oh no, I refuse, Slew Shark. I don't I don't play Mario Golf competitively. I'm not doing it. No way in hell. That'll make me not enjoy the game. I refuse to compete in anything like that. Thanks for the offer though. I appreciate the um, invite. Beginner may want to start with Puzzle 2. I think I know what this is, based on what it's kind of describing. You know, I mean, that's, that's easy, Blaylock. That's just, you literally just play the game and you get a score for it. That's literally nothing. Yeah, this is that. This is like that game in uh, Mario RPG. Ball Solitaire, or not Ball Solitaire, the Switch Puzzle. Eh, 
overtaken. Oh shit, no, I didn't want to do that. over to easily yeah it's a pretty good track and i have funnily enough i did not i have not gotten copyrighted for that song whatsoever in any of the videos so far yet you know K kingdom hearts got flagged on every single video so what does that tell you I mean, there's no patch whatsoever, so, I mean... it's not really just Disney it's it's more so square than Disney in that if I'm being honest oh fair enough yeah that's that's a good point um, Mars Yeah, I'm sure the PS2 version would definitely get, like, probably targeted a lot more. I'm having a hard time closing this one out. <laughs> oh, man, come on. I thought I was like so close to being done, but then I just threw it all away.
I need to clear it. I don't need to... Yeah, I need to clear the screen. I feel like I've had this a couple of times. I'm just sucking at like finishing this up. Yeah, but like, I feel like I can do this, because I've, I've done puzzles like these before. I mean, this is literally something you do in Super Mario RPG. In one of the Dr. Topper games. You'll be excited when I get to Skyrim for the GBA. Oh yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure that's a real video game. Yeah, the Hamtaro games will be good. I mean, those are very well-made games, honestly. I thought I had it there. I didn't look at the... Wait. I thought that was it. This...
Oh, that wouldn't have been it anyway. I'm trying not to think about Battle Network right now. <laughs> right now I'm trying to think about <laughs> Activision Anthology. I really don't want to do that, but... Can someone just eat that guy? Like, just... Oh! <laughs> that really helped me out. He mocks you. He is kind of mocking me, isn't he? Wow, what a jackass. Well, that's a great story, Mr. Jackass. I mean, Simpson. <laughs> Here, I'll type about it on my invisible typewriter. <laughs> Close, this was really close.
Mm. How do I do this? Okay, we'll do that. This is indeed a disturbing universe. I miss him. Gone too soon. I know people say that all the time for like celebrity deaths, but no, see him, gone too soon. Oh, I feel like I was just here, like, a little bit ago. Worlds are broke. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Also, I just realized my timer's kind of... Pushing into <laughs> that. Uh, does anyone have any, like, thoughts? <laughs> I'm so close to solving this, but... I'm just like, one short. And like, worst case. It's like I need to get, like, all the pieces at the edge. I'm at the edge of glory. Pieces, you say. Memes, you say. You gotta put that sub to get. Yeah, you, you do. You sure do. God.
feel like I've been here before. <laughs> Literally nothing changed. They looked like turtles, like on the box art or the game box or something, but... I'm more interested in finding out what happens if we get to 999. Well, we can't let you have that wish, so I'm going to try to figure this out. So, How do I do that? <laughs> It's just annoying because I feel, I feel like I've had it, like, a few times. But then just, like, I overlooked one little piece. And then... Whoopsie doodle. Um, let's see. Hey, look, there's this one again. Because I'm, I'm sure, like, much in the same fashion as, like, solving a Rubik's Cube, for example. It's, it's like, it's something where it's, like, you notice, like, okay, so I notice that this is like this. I can, like, do a few alterations to make it like this, essentially. That's kind of, like, the type of thinking you have to use a little bit. The only other thing I can think of is maybe like leave this alone because I know I can solve it and then try to solve the like get other things out and try to fashion them into something I can also solve with them if that makes sense.
Because, look, I can just, like, put these away at any time. Pretty much, Starman. I thought about looking up a solver, but I don't want to do it just yet, because I know I can do it without it. I just have to get better at noticing the patterns. think about this I No, Mars, there's nothing hype about that. And you know it. No, a thousand move solver. Yeah, hype, whatever. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Wait, no. Ah, damn it. I thought I had it for a second, but... Rage. I mean, at the core, we made a lot of progress today. We got some patches. We saved the, the three little pigs. Played a bunch of space shooting games. Which, I mean, I would have thought that would have literally been every Atari game. It's, I'm down to either two or one. It's just... We caught some crook. We did catch some crooks, yeah.
We 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 rolled the space dice. Pressing random crap now. Is a Star Fox on Atari? No, we'll probably if, if so. There, if it's Activision. We'll play it later. I, for one, welcome our new ant leaders. I promise I'll help them build in their underground sugar caves. <laughs> I don't know why that's in my head all of a sudden. This does.
Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Oh man. Let me t okay, let me see. So Let me just see just for sake here. Oh, they're at least different like faces, which is kind of cool. So what makes this easier? This is this apparently easier. Yeah, still no turtles. That's a, that's a good point. This game promised us turtles and is not delivering on any of that. Playlock, stay off of the caps lock key. It's a big problem. Okay, out of curiosity, um, I forgot the name already. Let me scroll back up. Uh, Worlds of Rogue, do you have that uh, solver still? I just want to see how it works. I mean, I've already solved the puzzle, so. And I apparently solved one that was harder than the easiest one, so that could be my condition for finishing. So I'm honestly fine with that. Okay, well, there's just... I love how one says likely ban evader, and the other one said spammer. <laughs> likely ban evader. <laughs> I guess I guess bots would be likely ban evaders to be fair.
Okay, I think that one guy's not here anymore. <laughs> Which, honestly, I understand. This has not been super entertaining. There, there was probably, honestly, a simple solution to that one. I just probably just effed it up. But honestly, like, I do like the idea of this one. It's just, I, I'm not familiar with, like, the kinds of, like, strats to use in a layout like this. At the core, it's a puzzle game, and... You know me when it comes to puzzle games. A bit of a fan, you could say. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh-oh? Oh, they actually change... Okay, well, hold on. Let's look at some of the different Got keys, check marks. There's the turtles. I got key blades if I wish. Let me check something. It's just all been a lot easier than I thought it was. Probably not. Okay. I just want to see some. Game one, 1,288. <laughs> it's a high score, apparently, so. It's... Okay, um, I kind of want to look at Oystron really quick and then maybe end it there because. That way we can start fresh with Pitfall tomorrow. And this is another one that doesn't have a patch, it's just high score apparently. Before I do, hold on guys.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. I really, I really had to use the restroom. <laughs> Another space shooter. Oh boy. I don't know if like I want to hit those or not. can't destroy the green ones. Okay. <laughs> oh, those things. has the closest thing to background music so far. You're not wrong. Movement does feel kind of awkward, admittedly. Oh, green bomb. I don't know, like, what the goal is, though. Like, what's that yellow meter? Am I trying to fill up the meter, or...? Oh no, we're being attacked by the Roman numerals!
Confused. I'm going to have to look at the manual or something just to find out what the hell was going on. flash again. I'll just make sure I put a warning in the VOD. Oh, no, I don't know. Okay, I need I want I need to I need to read the manual. The screen is divided between upper game area and a lower status area. The game area includes the special pearls, the special pearl zone, delimited by a grid of white dots in the status area. Wait, yeah, this is the right game. This shows your progress in the current level from the beginning to the Oystron phase. The life indicator, it can show a maximum of four lives. The score when playing on various alternating information leaves in the game. Bombs count or when playing or a current variation number. move in whatever direction the joystick is drop off a pearl in the collect zone during normal playing drop, drop off bombs during the oystron attack enemies and space oysters will enter the screen on the right and attack you by moving towards the left order some of them will bounce and go back to the right, others will disappear and learn the behavior of different enemies. Shoot repeatedly the space oysters and they will turn into pearls. Collect the pearls and drop them into the pearl zone. Your ship glows when ready to drop a pearl. You get bomb you get a bomb putting eight pearls in a row. Beware of the enemies that reach the left border of the playfield since they will try to steal your pearls. Shoot the thief enemies to rescue the pearls. Be careful, stolen or lost pearls will bring undesired guests in. Get rid of them as soon as possible. Near the end of each level, you'll hear a warning signal and the screen will flash. After a few moments, the Oystron will enter and your standard shots will be disabled. From this moment, you can either kill him... <laughs> kill him by dropping the bombs and letting him step over them, or wait until he gets bored and mutates into a base oyster. You lose the bonus points if you let the Oystron go away. In both cases, you'll enter the warp phase. If you're, ki if you're killed in the Oystron phase, you'll be put a little back in the level, and you'll have to face the Oystron again. <laughs> hmm. 
I mean, it sounds cool. I'm just not sure, like, what... Like, what do you have to put the oyster pearls into? That's what I'm a little confused on. I can't put, I can't, it's not letting me put it any. Wait, what? I die? I'm still very confused. Oh, okay. So now I have a bomb. I didn't even get to the oyster on phase though. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I mean, I get the Oystron phase is the phase where it's, like, flashing, but, like, the warp phase is what I meant. I didn't get to the warp phase. I'd like to see what that was before we technically wrap this up. Another one I'm kind of surprised doesn't have a patch, honestly. I mean, it seems like it could be pretty random, and that's probably why. Yeah, I think this is a new game. <clears throat> oh, so there wasn't, like... Okay. Almost in the oy the oystron or whatever the hell. Is that the Oystron? I don't know? Huh.
I didn't see that. That, was, like, that guy spawned. Oh, this is the warp zone. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do this because I don't want like those who suffer with like a lot of flashing to see this. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to make a warning or something. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, that was that was pretty brutal, even just like looking at it for me, honestly. Okay, I did die though. Honestly, that's it's a pretty cool game. Just, yeah, definitely very. <laughs> definitely, if you have like ep epilepsy stuff, you definitely don't want to play this. <laughs> Huge epilepsy warning for sure. But it's an interesting game, at least. It's just, yeah, could have done without the flashing. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I think I have the hiccups a little bit. Most abstract to figure out, but yeah. Okay, so. With that, we are done with the O's. We finished the K's, L's, M's, and O's today. So we did what? One, two, three, four, five, six? Six games? Not bad, not bad. Okay, well, I think that's gonna do it for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing some Pitfall, I guess. I'm actually curious about something. Okay, just 20,000 points. I want to see what the patch was. Oh, goody, high score. I didn't even do anything. So, yeah, we finally made the pitfall. We've played through a bunch of other games. And we're here finally. Okay, well, let's pause our timer. We are, wow, one-third of GBA has been Atari or Activision Anthology. We're at 22 hours for this game, 66 hours for GBA overall. I wonder, like, I mean, if I just did this until I finished it, like, I, I would be able to finish this before hour 100. But since I'm doing other games along with it, I'm wondering if, like, I will complete this before hour 100. Kind of depends, but we'll see. Yeah, Atari Ace. The Atari Advanced Completion Challenge. No, if it was the Advanced Completion Experience, that'd probably be getting every patch, which I'm definitely not doing. Okay, guys, it's been fun. Hope you guys had a good time today. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some Pitfall here at uh, Activision Anthology, so come by if you want to check that out. I'll probably be streaming sometime around 12.30 or 1 p.m., so a little earlier compared to today, obviously, but somewhere in that time frame, assuming I'm not, like, super tired after work. Uh, we'll only be playing for a few hours, though, because um, at some point uh, it is Sunday, so we'll be doing our weekly jigsaw puzzle as well so now if you want to come by for that um definitely do so and yeah mars it was a pleasure to see you again too i know it's been a long time um but you know i understand it's i stream a lot it's hard to just you know commit so much time without feeling like you're missing something 
And who knows, I might be streaming something you're not interested in, or something you want to see for yourself, so I, I get it. It's always a joy to have you around, though. I'm glad to see you. And of course, everyone else, um, everyone else who's been here to comment as well. It's been great to have you guys here, too, so... Thank you all for being who you are, because I wouldn't ask for anything else. Okay, let's uh, get out of here and raid someone. Um, I think we'll do our... Yeah, we'll do our Thab raid. Because he's streaming right now, and I don't think we've streamed... We've raided him this week yet. So, uh, Beast 721 he is um, actually one of the inspirations for this challenge. Um, he's currently trying to play through every Nintendo 64 game ever. Um, he's not doing it right now, but he will be doing it in about an hour or so. He's currently playing uh, Shirin the Wanderer 2, which is a Japanese game. It's also a mystery dungeon game, kind of what the Pokemon mystery dungeon games are like. So much Activision... Where's the turtles? Um, what was another funny thing? Oh yeah, wait, what was it? Space? What was the space things we were talking? Space dice. That's it. Almighty space dice. And yeah, we'll put killer donuts in too. And uh, just flood with raid messages. So, there we go, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out. It's been fun. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow for the Game Boy Advance completion experience. And puzzle stuff. Later, guys. <laughs>